holder of the pulse. In any city, seek the nearest hospital or medical facility on a date when someone loved or related to you was born or had suffered their end. Your own birth will be invalid, and upon uttering a word of this, the holder will bring you utter and pitiful doom. Compose yourself properly, then approach the front desk. Meet the person behind the desk, squarely in the eye, and ask to meet the one known as the holder of the pulse. They will stare back with an emotionless bore, seeming to want to rip your very life from existence, as they too will do all to become one with the pulse. You must not move, waver, or show emotion, be it a small grin or simple scowl. If you have, you have failed. If you wish, you can attempt to kill the desk attendant and redeem yourself. An inhuman feeling will brush your neck. If you are redeemed, you may retry your fate once more on one of the patients in the building, or leave without one word, and your terrible deed will not be known to the mortal life. If you cannot kill, or you admit your defeat, your fate is sealed, and the last thing you will be able to comprehend is watching them feed on every beat and pump of your life force, as it is torn from your very soul. If you do manage to hold your composure, your opponent will admit their defeat and give you instructions from the holder. Listen closely and do not fault. The desk attendant will give you their hands and ask you to close your eyes. Both of you will walk down an unmarked hallway, your mind slipping into a vertigo. The world you enter will be pure white, warm and comforting to all your senses. One other presence will be there. Look upon her face and she will smile. During this time, two heartbeats will sound. The second the two become one, ask the girl, Why does our life begin? Her expression will change to that of anger or sadness. No matter what your mind, your heart, or soul tells you to do or say to get you to stop, you must keep asking the same question. Every time you utter the last word, begin, she will grow more angry or sad. Your senses will flare with pain, and it will be harder to focus as she is killing you off. The odd dimension will flash, blinding your eyes, scream, deafening your ears, scorch and burn your nerves. You will be stricken with disease, a mass of fatal wounds, and suffer a limitless torment through your very being. You may hear your flesh crackle as it burns away to the bone, or your skull shatter into fragments. Maybe even watch as your innards are spilled among her floor. Anything to make you scream or wail. If you do not last, she will turn you into her newest puppet. Among the others who seek her blessing. Some prefer this fate and lavish the warm and gentle touch of her lips as she breathes life into her toys when they stop ticking. If you manage to withstand until the heartbeats separate, she will abruptly stop and regain her smile. With a swift movement, she will place a tender kiss on your left palm. A warm pulse will beat through you entirely, blessing you with the gift of life. And the girl will rip the souls of the unworthy to make her toys and to feed you. But those who seek this ability for eternal life do well to know this. Every year past your destined end, an innumerable number of raging, tormented souls will tear at the thin, fickle skin of your pathetic body, cursing at the horrid master who cast and killed them off so you may exist. But fear not, as the girl will comfort and embrace your screaming and flailing body. Only after an endless twenty-four hours of this torment, on the date you received the pulse. If this burden is enough for your hellish and cruel soul, go ahead and take it. The pulse in your vein is item 1234 of 2538. It will beat forever as it steals the 
lives of the unworthy.